Hey, how is it going? So today I'm going to be talking about multiverse concept and what that concept is. The multiverse concept is a speculative idea in cosmology and theoretical physics that suggests that existence of multiverse universes of parallel universes beyond our observable universe. These universes may have different physical constants, laws and physics, and initial conditions, making them potentially very difficult or different from our own universe. The multiverse hypothesis has gained popularity in recent years and is topic of active debate among scientists and philosophers. If it's philosophers and I don't know about scientists, but either way, so can we prove it? <laughs> so if we can prove it and we're talking about scientists, right? So if we can prove it, uh, if anything, I would like to cover this uh, subject and move on to other things because I don't know if it's uh, within the realm of what I'm interested in. But either way, I like to cover it since I'm already on the subject. Many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics. Perhaps, perhaps, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> so, I'm not a scientist. I like to cover the subject to understand myself a little bit better and move on to other things. But either way, is a multi-world interpretation in a quantum mechanical interpretation that suggests that every quantum event results in the creation of multiple branches of the new universe. In uh, other words, every possible outcome of quantum event occurs in separate branch of universes. This interpretation offers kind of multiverse where possible quantum outcomes are realized in different branches. I guess they, if we, uh, if they were to try to ex uh, use this concept to explain other things, perhaps in a way how they can predict of uh, things uh, happening in the future, and if they were to use this hypothesis and explain how they are able to predict. Perhaps I see where this hypothesis might work, but not necessarily within itself, how we can build many <laughs> different universes. Cosmic inflation. Cosmic inflation is a theory that suggests that universe underwent an extremely rapid and exponential expansion in its early moments. Inflationary theory can lead to the idea of multiverse where different regions of a space stop inflating at a different times creating bubble universe within a large inflation space. Each bubble universe could have its own set of physical laws and constants. Yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> well, again, let's stick to like hard data, right? So, uh, philosophy, I guess, scientists uh, should be based on something, right? I, I personally believe this This is the same people where I'm sending my business model to. <laughs> saying, okay, this is, I'm sending my business model and these people are trying to predict if this business model will work and, <laughs> and how they are looking to assess this business model. But either way, because it's outside the realm of what might be up there, are we able to perhaps hold and see, but uh, they're just hypothesis, right? String theory. String theory is a theoretical framework in which fundamental particles are not point-like but are instead tiny. Vibrating strings. String theory has various solutions and some of these solutions can describe different vacu uh, vacuum states. Each vacuum state could represent a different universe which own set of physical laws and consumer related to concepts of the uh, landscape of the universe. Perhaps uh, I do understand some of the quantum mechanics when it comes to perhaps vibrating and all the things vibrate and do you have some sort of energy and so perhaps there's something to it but I'm not necessarily agree with all the points within the theory. Parallel universe. Some in <laughs> interpretations of the multiverse suggest that separate universes exist alongside our own in a higher dimension or in some other non-integrating way. These parallel universes could be similar to uh, <laughs> our own or dynamic uh, differences. But e either way, so uh, again, <laughs> sci-fi movies, right? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Let's cover the subject and move on to other things. 
anthropotic principle the anthropotic principles po uh, possess that the observed properties of our universe must be consistent with the existence of observers i.e. intelligent life some proponents of multiverse argue that the vast array of possible universes is in multiverse is necessary for an tropic principle to explain why our universe has specific properties needed for life to exist again <laughs> uh, so there's a lot of theories there right so oh, the same math right so let, let's use math which currently none of the things or areas that I have covered add up right so again uh, <laughs> How many PhDs those people have? So that's what I'm interested in, right? So not necessarily from practical side of things, but theoretical side of things. Perhaps uh, some of those principles might work on a paper, but not necessarily practically, right? Again, uh, <laughs> then those people out there, they doing things uh, just just to keep themselves busy. But in practice, I'm not entirely sure where any of this information takes place. Uh, for people up there who are interested in learning more, I have published a book, uh, Rise Impact. In this book, I'm sharing a lot of information for people who are interested in learning more about where to begin and setting up and starting their own business. Uh, in particular, uh, when starting livestock enterprise, and I'm focusing a lot on how to achieve first milestone. That would be progressing from uh, zero to a first 10,000 euros, dollars, pounds, and how to achieve this milestone. I'm sharing a lot of information, I'm sharing a lot of examples for people out there who that potentially can, to say the least, save a lot of money as well as time. Uh, all the other resources required, then setting up the business, trying new things, to uh, see what would work, what not necessarily would work in the first place. Uh, I am sharing a lot of information for core business and where to begin, where to start. You can find this in the description below as well as the operator has had it. Uh, for people out there who are interested in overall or perhaps they consume or take in information in a different uh, formats, if people out there stay on the go, perhaps if you like to go in the garden, perhaps working in your garden, perhaps lifting weights, whatever case might be, if you prefer listening audio formats, I have uh, as well, I have recently uploaded uh, just yesterday, I have uploaded all that uh, library all information up there you can find on top uh, podcast as well as uh, audio video text formats up there but whichever format you prefer you can find uh, the same format the same information there available on your uh, podcast distributors I have uploaded on I, I believe it's a, a, about 15 different platforms is available up there if not, feel free to reach out to me if I have missed any of the platforms up there. Usually, if it's easy to do business with any of the companies up there, I don't mind to upload on any extra uh, platforms that I have missed. But either way, even, even if it's an established company, if it's a new company, I don't mind doing business with either of those. As well as those companies up there do not make it too difficult to work with those companies <laughs> in the first place. So it's something as well as perhaps overall attitude that comes to doing business, right? Uh, as well as uh, if there are a lot of demand for any of those podcasts to be on a particular platform, I might consider doing that as well. Uh, let me know overall. I'm interested to hear your feedback of uh, podcasts. It has been 300, over 300 different uh, subjects so that I have covered so far. So let me know. It's important to note that the multiverse concept remains highly speculative and there is currently no direct or observational evidence to support this, uh, its existence. Some scientists are critical on this idea, arguing it is uh, difficult to test and may fall outside of the realm of um, critical science. Nevertheless, it continues to be fascinating and provocative topic of discussion in the field of cosmology and theoretical physics. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.